Hello, I'm Lee. I'm James. And welcome to our video. In this video, we're going to show you several ways that you can make bird feeders at home or in your forest school or at school with kids. Yeah, we're using upcycled items, old bits of wood that are lying around. We've got lots of different ideas. Some of them are simple, some of them are a little bit more complicated and involve more tools. So there's lots of ideas here and you can pick the ones that work for whichever kids you're working with. The best thing is, is most of it is free, items lying around at home. All you need is lard and bird seed and some string and you're good to go. For this bird feeder, I'm going to be using half an orange. And as you can see here, I've got some little ledges for the birds to sit on. For this, you will need an orange cut in half, string, some scissors, a sharp knife, a bowl and a spoon, and here are the barbecue skewers. The secateurs here will be for cutting off the sharp ends of the skewers so you don't spike yourself. For this part, you'll need an adult's help because the flesh is quite difficult to scoop out with a spoon. So what I do is get a sharp knife and just very gently loosen the flesh from the uh, skin of the orange first. Be careful not to poke it right through though. The last few bits, just use your fingers. I think that'll do. Next you want to take your sharp wooden barbecue skewer and gently push a hole through one side. Go right to the opposite side and push through. But we want to go slightly higher up the side of the orange this time so it sits above the other skewer. Next we want to cut the ends off our skewers, all four until we've got our four little perches for the birds. Now it's time to fill the orange with our soft lard and bird seed, which I have here. It's not quite set yet, so it's nice and soft and I can poke it in to the orange. So one of these skewers is nice and handy to get it filled between those little sticks. To finish off, cut four pieces of string the same length, tie each piece to all four perches and then tie all the string together at the top and you're ready to hang it in the tree. The next idea has been really popular in our own garden with the birds. It's been great seeing them use this feeder. And as you can see, it's made from an old carton. You could use any Tetra pack, or you could use a plastic milk carton. That would work as well. For this design, it involves a bit of cutting and slicing. So kids are gonna need help from an adult. A knife is really useful for this. Um, you're gonna need scissors, string. You're gonna need a stick for the perch. And of course, the carton. And the first thing you need to think about is where the hole's gonna be on the carton. The higher it is up the carton, the more food you need to fill the carton up with because you don't want to have a big gap between the top of the hole and the top of the food because the birds will find it difficult to reach it. So I'm going to have it fairly low down. I'm going to start with my knife cutting a flap in the carton like this. Always using the knife away from yourself, of course. Across. There we go. When a knife isn't being used, it always goes back safely in its sheath. So next we're gonna fold the flap down and we want to fold it and make a crease right here. And we're folding the flap down inside because that makes this a little bit thicker so it's easy for the birds to grip against. Gives them more of a perch. So the flap's going inside and against the bottom of the feeder. Now we need a couple of holes for this stick, the perch, to go through. And that wants to be halfway between the bottom of the carton and the bottom of your hole, so right here. 
You can use a knife or some scissors, but to make things easy today, I'm just gonna drill it very quickly. Done. I've just sharpened the end of the stick. Now let's poke that through, making sure that the flap of the carton is below the stick. There we go. You always make it a little bit longer than you need it because we can cut it off afterwards if we want to. We need holes for the string to hang it from as well. One here, and one here. Now comes the fun messy bit, putting all the food in. I like to make sure that the mix is quite soft here because then it fills up all the gaps and corners and it's easier to push down into the bottom of the container. You just can't help but get it all over your fingers. Don't eat it though, it doesn't taste very nice. That looks good to me. Poking the string through these little holes can be a little bit tricky. Of course, if the kids have got small hands, they might be able to get up there through the hole and poke it through. But also you could take the lid off to help get to it. But I find a little stick, thin one, to help poke it and push it through really helps. I'm really pleased with this bird feeder. As I said, it works really well. And now we have two for our garden. This is a super simple method. It's just a toilet roll rolled in fat and bird seed with string put through the middle and tied at the top. The challenge with this one was to get the bird seed to stick. Once we'd heated up the lard, it was a little bit too wet. So what I found was to put a layer on the toilet roll on top, let it set, turn it round a little bit, put another layer of bird seed on and wait for that to set. Turn it round and keep doing that until it's completely covered. <laughs> and that was the easiest way to do it. Here's another simple idea for a quick bird feeder. You can take a kitchen roll like this, a nice long one, using that same method of sticking the fat and seeds to the outside of the loo roll. Then you're also gonna need a stick, about this long, and some string. And the string needs to be longer than the length of the roll you're using. You might also notice that I put a little notch in the middle of the stick here. That's to help the string hold on and bite on the string so it doesn't slip. But a really good knot will probably do the same trick. So don't worry about it if you haven't got a knife. And with this stick, you can see that I've tied the string in the middle and then I've let the two ends trail off. They're gonna go through the toilet roll. And once you've threaded it through the kitchen roll there, you can see that stick is acting like a perch at the bottom. And that's gonna be perfect for the birds to balance and get to the food. And that loop is perfect for hanging it on a tree. Here is another super simple idea for your birds and that's to put the fat and the seeds wedged into a pine cone. So you can go out and collect a pine cone, leave it in your house in the warmth so it opens up, which then gives a gap for you to push the bird seed into. A bit of string wrap round and it's done. What other items from nature could you find that you might be able to use as well as the pine cone? Here's one that I like to call the wild bird pick and mix. What I've done here is got an egg box and put one inside the other to make it a little bit stronger. So there's two egg boxes here. Makes it a bit more robust in the weather. And in four of the cups, I've put the fat and seeds. That's to even out the weight so it hangs evenly. And then the other ones, we're gonna put some other bits and pieces. So I've just got some seeds here. But if you add sunflower hearts or peanut butter or something, you could use that. Then in the other hole, I'm gonna put some peanuts. Here we go. And we'll see which the birds like the best. But a bit of a selection box there. Good stuff. And here we have the finished feeder. As you can see, it hangs quite nicely. The strings just need to go in between the egg cups and that'll hold in place with gravity. And make sure as well the knots are at the same length as well so it hangs nice and even. But dead simple to make. And of course the kids can be creative 
as to what they decide to put in the different egg cups. This bird feeder is actually using a mug or a teacup hanging from the tree. If you have an old cup at home that's perhaps chipped and may be ready to be thrown away, that would be ideal. We've actually chosen a perfectly good cup, but it's got a picture of a robin on, so we decided to use this one. We are also going to need a perch for the bird to sit on. This is a stick we found and we've used a knife to create a clean, flat edge. We're also going to need some string to hang it to the tree. For this one I'm going to mix in some peanuts as well, just for a bit of variety. And then we've got our fat and seed, which is still soft. Then we're going to take our perch and put it opposite the handle, poke it down, and I'm going to mould the fat around the stick so it stays in. Then we're going to let that set. And here we have our finished feeder, ready for the birds to feed on. Now this design of bird feeder is the more complicated one. You're going to need a drill to make this one and you're also going to need a flat drill bit, one of those wide bits. And, but it's a really good bird feeder to make because it lasts a long time because it's all wood and it works really nice, it looks pretty and the birds like perching on here and getting to the food on the feeder. Now the food goes in these little holes, you just push a bit of the fat and seeds in there and it just sits in there like a little plug. When the birds have finished eating it, you just pop a bit more in. You could drill all the way through the log out the other side, but most of the birds will find it difficult to get to the food in the middle, so it's a bit of a waste of effort really. Remember their beaks are only small, so that depth of the hole you can see there is absolutely fine. So as I said, this is a bit more complicated, this bird feeder, so you're gonna need a few more tools, so it's not really suitable for little ones. You're gonna need the drill. Here's the flat drill bit that I talked about earlier to make those big holes. You're also gonna need a pretty hefty wood bit as well. That's for the holes for these perches. And you're gonna need four sticks the same length, knife, scissors, string, and of course a chunk of wood. And you'll notice that this bit of wood is much longer than the example I showed you earlier. And there's a good reason for that, which I'll show you. When you're making your bird feeder out of wood like this, there's something else to consider. Don't use a really fresh bit of wood that you've just cut off a tree because it will be full of moisture and full of water. It's a lot harder to drill that, especially with these large fat drill bits. Use an older branch, perhaps some season wood you've got on a firewood pile, something that's been down for a while. It doesn't want to be rotten, but as it's well seasoned, the wood is drier and much easier to drill into, especially for kids. So the reason why I've picked a longer piece than I need for the final bird feeder is that it's much safer to clamp a longer piece or if you don't have a workbench for people to securely hold a longer piece of wood and that way the drilling isn't happening near any hands or anything, it's happening well away from any hands that are securing the wood and we'll cut it to length right at the end once we finish the drilling. Now we're going to make six holes in this length here, one, two, three, four, so two holes opposite each other, and then in the other plane, five, six here. And that means that there are holes all the way around the wood for the birds to get the best chance at getting to the food. The next hole is going right between the other two, we've got one, two, three, four, here's hole number five. Once the big holes are done, you're going to want to make holes for the perches. And for that, of course, use a drill bit that is the same diameter or a touch smaller than the sticks that you're using. It might be easier to find a stick that matches the drill bit rather than the other way around. So we're gonna have four perches in total on this and they want to go in the gaps between the holes. There's gonna be one here and there's gonna be one here. You don't need to drill in far with these, just a couple of centimeters is fine. 
It's especially important with the perches that whatever you do on one side, you do on the opposite side as well, because we want it to hang nice and evenly. The last hole that we're gonna do is again with the smaller drill bit, and it's gonna be at the top of our bird feeder. That's for the string, so it's gotta go all the way through, in one side and out the other. So pick the thinnest section of the log to go through, because wood is never perfectly round. There's always a thicker or thinner bit. There we go, right through the other side. Now it's finally time to saw the piece off where we want it. Now, saws can do some quite serious damage to uh, um, unprotected fingers, but rather than use gloves, I prefer to put a barrier between whoever's supporting the log over here, or your off hand, and the hand that's sawing. And that way, the saw can't come over this way, over 20 hands that might be supporting the log over here. Very simple. But easy way to keep everyone safe. This is where the knife comes into play and actually there's another tool we'll be using here as well, this little wooden mallet and that's to knock the pegs into the holes. But you know what, you can just use a slightly heavier stick than these little perches here and that'll do the trick just fine. With the knife, I'm just going to put a bit of a point, a blunt point on the end of each of these perches. These pegs want to be a nice tight fit in the hole. If they ever come loose, of course, you can just tap them in a little bit further or just get another stick that fits better. That's all the uh, perches knocked in, but they're a little bit long for my liking, so I'm just going to cut them down with the sacateurs. That's much better. Now we get to do the messy bit, actually putting the food in the holes. And here's the final feeder, all ready to go and to be hung into a tree. And this is going to last several years. And this is a great project for kids who can handle the tools because they're going to learn that safe tool use and using the drill, the knife, the saw, it's all going to build their confidence. So there we have eight different designs for bird feeders. Now all that remains is to get them up in the trees. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have loads of fun with your kids, your groups, making all sorts of different weird and wonderful styles of bird feeder. Yeah, and if your kids make anything that we haven't seen on this video, they get really creative, upcycling items to make bird feeders, we'd love to hear about it. So do let us know. Yeah. So thanks for watching again, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.